there Aquarius, welcome to your June 2024 general tarot reading. It's Rena here. I started this series with a different sign. I mean, a, a different set of cards, but I'm just like, <laughs> I don't feel like going into the other room and getting them. So I really like these cards, so it's all good. Okay, let me look at what is going on. Well, one of the things, let me, I always like try to tie it into astrology because I'm primarily an astrologer and it gives me more information to work on about the energies around you. Sorry about any kind of noise. I guess I have the windows open. By the way, it's the key to invasion. There are, um, so many cicadas where I live and the nearby areas. And some some areas have more than others, uh, but the noise too, I don't know. You know, I, I have one of the windows open, you might be able to hear it because it's a really warm summer day right now. It's like in the 80s, uh, which is kind of like premature. We've had a lot of hot weather this year. I live in the Chicago area and it's just like it's but I, it's been nice weather so i i'm not complaining but uh anyway let's see the heart of the matter is the four of cups this is a card of dissatisfaction so i was trying to think of like because i got like this career vibe of course i tried to tie in love as well for whoever not everybody's in the same phase of life or you know, having the same experiences, obviously. So, um, for you, you could be dissatisfied with something. Four of Cups. I don't know, did I even show this card? <laughs> this is a card of, you can see the person's expression. I, I did read an interpretation that said it was kind of like, uh, maybe affection that is very stable versus, you know, what some people have. So it's not, it doesn't have to be all bad, but because of the other cards and because of these types of readings, I always like look at what could be the challenge, what could be going on. And you might be indifferent about a person, place, or thing. And maybe in the past you were like gung ho about it. And all of a sudden you're like, nah, I'm not into this anymore. That, you know, we have seasons of life. Just because you like something at one time doesn't mean that you have to commit to it for the rest of your life to, as a sign of loyalty to, <laughs> to something. Um, and in the past position, we have the Six of Swords. So this is about choosing peace, choosing even this can even be a card of relocation, moving away from some kind of conflict. And so, um, and then I'll say as the higher message, the nine of uh, wands, this is a card of boundaries. So what I feel about these cards is one thing that jumps out at me is sometimes people think that if they get away from a situation, it's going to automatically make them feel good about life. And when that happens, a lot of times for me, it's because somebody is blaming an external situation for their happiness or unhappiness. And that's, you know, that's a very precarious position to be in because then you're dependent on an outer situation to make you happy. So I don't, I definitely don't feel that that's true. I don't feel that that's how it works. And I feel like if somebody feels unhappy, you can, you can look at it situationally, but ultimately you have to look in the mirror and say, you know, okay, maybe this person is, you know, upsetting me. Maybe I don't like their personality. Um, but why is this the end all be all? Like, why is this the only thing that, 
is the solution to all my problems. Is that even true? Like question your beliefs. We should always question our beliefs. Um, and another thing too is, I think with the nine of wands, is that it's kind of like for the future too. So it's like, if you got involved with a relationship, in a relationship with someone and you did not have boundaries set with them, um, I think some Aquarians who have Venus in Pisces uh, or maybe even Mars in Pisces, um, the moon in Pisces, just having that, that laissez-faire attitude that anything goes and tolerate anything uh, is going to give another person information about what you're going to put up with. So I say, you know, what the phrase that just came into my mind is nip it in the bud. When you first see signs of something, you don't wait. You don't just hope that it doesn't repeat itself. You use that opportunity to say, oh, you know, I'm not into such and such thing. I don't want to do that. I don't, you know, that you make it very clear because otherwise, um, you know, the other person, you give them an inch, they take a mile. So you may be feeling the kind of, I was going to say negativity, but it's really like um, indifference to a situation like a person or even like this could be on the job because you feel as if you're not happy um and you know maybe this has to do with the environment if there's a lot of drama for instance it's going to be something that doesn't appeal to you at all and I, sometimes I get the feeling with the four of cups is that the person is fed up. Like maybe they've had, to, they've put up with a lot of crap from someone or something. And now they're like done. I don't know if this is the person in question, but the card that crosses you is the king of pentacles. So this could be, uh, I mean, if it is an earth sign, the earth signs are Taurus. Virgo Capricorn but you know it's interesting because kings can be fathers and uh, but it can also be like a boss if it is a boss it's the type of person who the it's the bottom line is money you're making money they're materialists of course you might figure that somebody that goes into business is probably a materialist but I mean seriously a materialist so people like that can't value um, people, fellow human beings, very much because they have a tendency to kind of like um, boil everything down to money. And suffice it to say, that can be quite disappointing if you're somebody who considers yourself more of a spiritual person. By the way, I want to apologize again about the noises outside. I have the window open and it's rush hour. You know, it's when everybody's getting home. So uh, usually it's very quiet, but there's a, a road around here that, you know, people tend to go through. So anyway, yeah. I also think that when I see like kings or even queens, sometimes, and it's in the challenge position, sometimes I think of narcissists. Be, and it's, you know, sometimes these people have positions of authority, so they can kind of use that as a way to kind of control others. And it can be something that, you know, is very tedious to deal with, but you might feel like your only options are dealing with it or quitting, and you don't like either one of those options. What's coming in is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, with the Seven of Pentacles here and what I was saying about like leaving a situation, you may have jumped, you may have jumped in from the frying pan into the fire. Um, and you're like, for instance, if you were unhappy with a relationship and so then you had somebody waiting in the wings and you went to that relationship and that didn't satisfy you, 
and now you're left high and dry. Um, but actually, it's not to that point. I, the only reason I said high and dry is because Four of Cups indicates dissatisfaction, but the Seven of Pentacles indicates someone who is kind of trying to see if something that he has planted is going to take, well, it's already taken root, but if it's going to expand, if there's going to be growth. And maybe you're at the point where you're like, I'm not sure this is a, a go. So this could even be like some kind of business that you have started that hasn't taken off yet. Um, I mean, this to me would be a long shot, but the King of Pentacles, if this is in, you know, I'm reading as a reverse card. I think I pulled it as, a, as an upright card, but I, I read for these positions. But, you know, there might be a minority of, of uh, Aquarians that kind of have the mentality of a Capricorn person where they are very much into, they want that success. They're not very laissez-faire about things. And people forget that Aquarius is co-ruled by Saturn. So the same attributes you could give to um, to Capricorn, you can give to Aquarius. And it all depends on how you know, maybe the other uh, planets and signs and the other things that are going on about how that really shakes out in the long run. But some of you might be more interested in, in the material energy. It's possible. Um, but there's some dissatisfaction with it and some of it comes with maybe you didn't have strong boundaries and you have to change how you do things you know, you can't go from one situation to the next and still operate the same way and expect everything to be falling into place because you have changed by what has happened to you before. So how can you possibly do anything the same way? The same way. And, and also, like in terms of uh, personal relationships, Four of Cups, um, when I see those cards on the top, if you have left someone and they are still trying to engage you like the narcissist does, and maybe you have a child together, be on high alert. I think that's what the Nine of Wands suggests. Don't um, believe the hype. You know, sometimes people can be very charming and they can make it look like they finally got their act together and they're just really um good at, at pretending they're not really sincere so keep that in mind because the king of pentacles in the challenge position this person might be holding the purse strings to you know in some way or you need their money and they are kind of like using that need to be able to control things and the outcome is the Six of Pentacles. This is a card of give and take. I have to say that both the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles are cards of inheritance. The, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get the, <laughs> I didn't get the uh, Ten of Pentacles. But the King of Pentacles is like somebody who is the master of their money. But because it's in the challenge position it seems to me like this might be another person who is using money in a toxic way because it's king it could be um somebody using it to control or if this is a boss they don't see your worth they just see how much money you can bring to them and of course that can happen in relationships too and so basically, the lesson in all of this, or what you may find, if you are intentional 
And I heard a great thing. Sometimes I'm listening to inspirational stuff when I'm walking, and all of a sudden, Abraham Hicks video just clicked in. And they used the expression, uh, deliberate creator. And I love that. You know, sometimes you hear conscious co-creator. Basically, what it implies is that we're always creating, but sometimes we are unaware of what we're creating. We might not even think we're creating anything at all. So, um, I think sometimes the king of pentacles in a challenge position can be the person who is, you know, the four of cups can be the person who is not feeling fulfilled, feeling stagnant emotionally, but maybe they're just too attracted to material energy at this time. And there's nothing wrong with material energy. It's just that it can keep people um, afraid of branching out because they're like looking at it from a dollars and cents perspective. Sometimes people say that the happiest days that they had were when they were first starting out as adults. Maybe they, you know, had a futon on the floor and they were just uh, young and you know, just new to the adult world. And to them, every day was an adventure. So the material side of it wasn't even on the radar. The fact that they were maybe deprived of some material things, that might have even been a plus because it wasn't about that then. And they didn't have a lot to, you know, look after either. So there's freedom. You know, we often think of those days as free because, you know, it's just like living in the moment more. And so anyway, yeah, with the Six of Pentacles, there can definitely be this thing. Maybe you're even, in some cases, you may be giving money to somebody else. Um, if the King of Pentacles is a father or a stepfather, some kind of a fatherly figure. They may be playing games with money, but even like a partner, they may be playing games with money because they're trying to get you to stay. And if you are the kind of person who's susceptible to that, you're going to have to be put on notice so that you make very sure not to give away your power for whatever reason. So, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this resonated. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.